Welcome to 15 minute full body yoga stretch. This is a simple yoga sequence to stretch the whole body and just feel good. We will get started in child's pose. Bring your big toes together to touch. Your knees can be together or wider apart. Walk your hands forward and lower your forehead down to the ground. Begin to deepen your breath here. Breathing in and out through the nose. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Let your body become heavier and relax more towards the ground with each breath. Notice how you feel in this pose. If there are any parts of the body that feel tight, Maybe shoulders, upper or lower back, hips, ankles. With your next breath, come up to your hands and knees, wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. With inhale, drop the belly, lift your chest and gaze for cow pose. Exhale, round the back, look to your navel for cat pose. Inhale, drop the belly, lift your tailbone, look up. Exhale, round the back like a cat. Keep moving with your breath, a few more rounds of cat and cow. And then come back to a neutral position. With inhale, raise your right arm, opening the chest to the right. Exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left armpit, lower your right shoulder down, lower the side of the head for thread the needle. A few breaths here, stretching the upper back, area between the shoulder blades. With inhale, reach your right arm up, opening to the right. Exhale, lower your hand down and same on the other side. Inhale, raise your left arm. Exhale, thread the arm to the right and lower your left shoulder down. Big breath in and out through the nose. With inhale, raise your left arm up, twisting to the left. Exhale, hand down to the mat. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. And begin to walk your dog, pressing the heels one by one down towards the mat. Bending and straightening the knees, stretching the back of the legs. Now step your left foot forward between your hands and lower your right knee down to the mat for low lunge. Bring your hands to your thighs, press your hips down towards the mat. Find the stretch on your right hip flexors on the front of your right thigh. You can just stay here or add the upper body stretch by cactusing your arms and lifting your chest up. Try to squeeze your shoulder blades closer together, opening the elbows wider. One more inhale. 
exhale, bring your palms down. Keep your right hand on the mat. Lift your left arm up, open the chest to the left. And for more intensity, you can lift your right knee off the mat. Keep pressing down through your right hand so you create space in your shoulder and neck. Bring your left hand down. Lower your right heel down in line with the left heel. Come up to standing. And open your hips and chest towards the long side of the mat. Place left forearm down to your thigh and reach your right arm up and over the head for side angle pose. Keep pressing down through the back foot and reaching up through your right fingertips for big side stretch. Now straighten your front leg, open the arms to the side, reach forward with your front hand as far as you can and then lower it down to your shin for triangle pose. Your upper hand can stay on the hip or reach it up for full triangle pose. On your next inhale, come up to standing. Then place your hands down, step back into downward facing dog. Pause here for a moment and just notice if you feel any difference between your left and right side now. Then step your right foot forward between your hands and we will repeat the same on this side. Lower your left knee down, press your hips down Place your hands on the side, either stay here or add the arms by putting them in cactus shape, lifting your chest, big breath into the chest. Big inhale here. Exhale, lower the hands down, left hand stays on the mat, reach your right arm up and twist to the right and you have the option to lift your left knee off the mat here. One more inhale and twist. And exhale, release, lower your left heel down, come up to standing, check your front knee, bend over the ankle and then place your right forearm down, reach your left arm up and over for side ankle pose. Slowly straighten your front leg, reach forward with your right hand as far as you can, then drop your hand down to your shin, left arm reaches up or the hand stays on the hip. On your next inhale, lift your torso, place your hands down and step back into downward facing dog. Hopefully you feel a bit more balanced now on both sides. From here, lower down to your stomach, untuck your toes, place your fingertips down on the ground a little wider than your mat. 
we'll do a few cobra lifts. As you inhale, press down through your fingertips, lift your chest up as far as you can. Exhale, lower the chest down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And just keep moving with your breath, coming as high as you can. But remember to be gentle with your body and respect your limits. Next time when you lift your chest, hold there for a moment. And then lower down. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Then bring your hands back towards your feet. Keep your feet around hip distance apart. Bend your knees a lot so that your thighs can be in contact with your belly. Hug your elbows, sway side to side a couple of times here. Relax the upper body. And then let go of your hands. Place your hands down or on your ankles and begin to straighten your knees by sending the hips up to the ceiling. Straighten the knees as much as you can so that you feel a good stretch on your hamstrings. And when you find the spot, stay there. You can also hug your elbows here to add more weight to the upper body. Slowly release your arms, turn your toes out, bend your knees and sit down into Malasana, the yoga squat. Bring your palms together in front of your chest and open your knees a little wider with your elbows. Think of lifting your chest up, bringing it closer to the thumbs. One more breath here. And then release, sit down on your mat. Cross your shins in front of you. Push your sit bones a little more back so that your shins are almost parallel to each other. Flex your feet. Place your hands to your knees. Take a big inhale to lift your chest up. Lengthen the spine. With exhale, pull your chest forward, bend it to your legs. Try to keep your spine long for as long as you can. And when you cannot go any further, just relax your upper body. Relax your head, neck, the back can round now, and simply breathe in this position. You should feel some stretch on the hips here, maybe on one side, maybe on both. Lift your chest slowly. And switch the cross of your legs. Keep your feet flexed. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend forward. And stay here for a few more breaths. Let your body relax more and more with each breath.
With your next inhale, slowly lift your chest, come back to seated position. Notice how your body feels now, compared to the beginning of the practice. If these 15 minutes made any difference, Thank you for practicing with me today. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this short practice. I will see you in the next one. Bye!